Abby, keep your radio close. I'll stay in touch if I find anything. Sounds good. And watch your ass in there. You can count on that. This architecture is definitely Maya. So strange. Why would my grandma want me to know about this place? If I had to guess, I'd say this place is a massive forge. On this scale, what would they be forging that would require this kind of heat? Sorry, I'm not gonna be much help to you there. This place, it's an ancient forge. What were they crafting here? was wearing this either had a splitting headache or they didn't leave at all. Wait, there's dried blood here. Seismic imaging results, 25th of November, 1983. Massive oil fields beneath the village. 
I have conducted a physical examination of area and can confirm this to be the case. Recommend full drill operation. Paul Veneer will be back in the black. Village expendable. Recommend stage 01 outbreak if buyout ineffectual. We cannot allow the... <sighs> Strange. The report cuts off mid-sentence. Here lies the missing man from Paul Veneer, killed in self-defense by Mariana Ortiz. You will not find a body, but this note instead. When I found him out, he attacked me, so I hit him on the head. It was his greed, not me, which made him dead. I'm sorry for his family that will never know his fate. If this note is discovered before I'm dead, you know where to find me. Abby, I found a note. It was written by your grandmother. She confesses to killing a man to protect herself and the village. She calls him the missing man from Borgonier. Does that mean anything to you? I remember when I was a little kid, there, there was a search. One of the workers disappeared. They never found him. Shortly after that, the last of the oil dried up and Borgonier left. Grandma. That guy. My I don't think she had a choice. Sweet Abigail, it is time you learn the truth about your past and your responsibility for the future. You are a guardian, Abigail, as I was, as my mother was before me and hers before her, and so on and so on. 
all the way back to the time of Queen Abarane, the mother of multitudes. Centuries ago, she led my people from the dry death of the great drought in Guatemala to the safety of this valley. On her deathbed, she chose a guardian from her line and the responsibilities of mother were passed on. Eventually, that gift was given to me. Now, with my death, my sweet Abigail, I pass on the responsibility of guardian to you. You already know what to do. You've been doing it all your life. You are the mother of multitudes now. Keep our story well. Abby, I've got your grandmother's journal here. It's... she's written to you. You'll want to read it for yourself. It might be a lot to digest. The short of it, you're a descendant of the Maya Queen Abarane on your grandmother's side. You're the latest in a long line of protectors that... What? Queen Abarane? Grandma is related to a Maya Queen? Wait, I'm related to a Maya Queen? <laughs> yes. You're a guardian from what your grandmother said. It's all here. What does that mean? I, I'm not even Maya. I... Got a lot of explaining to do. Abby, I found a mural depicting a great journey. A Maya queen leading thousands of her people from Mexico to Peru. Why did she leave them here? There are many theories about what happened to the Maya. There are old favorites invasion, civil war, collapsing trade routes. But one theory has become very popular, that the Maya civilization was ultimately doomed by a period of severe climate change. She was probably leading them out of a decade-long drought. So, where'd they all go? It shows a great journey south, from Mexico to Peru. Thousands of people following their queen, escaping mass drought. Sarcophagus here. It's beautiful. Definitely royalty. Sarcophagus? Like a coffin? Exactly like a coffin. I thought it was a forge. Whoever is buried here, they were very closely tied to this place and its purpose.
encontraste el lugar escondido. It was a forge, but something more as well. Sí, es el lugar de descanso de la reina Maya Abarrane, la primera guardiana de Kuakyaku, que construyó la forja para construir un artefacto de gran poder. What artifact? Ah, no lo sé. Mariana me dijo que lo que había nacido en ese lugar se había perdido hace mucho tiempo, pero dijo que el mensaje que contenía siempre perduraría. Era un mensaje de esperanza para el futuro. If you knew about all this, why wouldn't you tell me? Ah, lo siento, pero le hice una promesa a Mariana. So what? I'm supposed to accept that I'm Maya all of a sudden? El linaje de Abarrane se ha diluido a lo largo de los siglos, pero tú desciendes de ella. So what does this mean? Eres una guardiana, Abigail, como Mariana y su madre antes que ella, desde los tiempos de Abarrane. <laughs> I can't be a guardian. I have responsibilities here. I've... Has estado protegiendo este pueblo durante años. No lo supiste siempre. Te has sentido obligada de alguna manera. Ahora eres la guardiana de la historia. That's what Grandma used to say. She said it was her job to keep its story. To keep it safe. She promised that one day she would show me where it was. And then I'd be the keeper of its story. No olvidó su promesa. Es una forma diferente de mostrarte. It's so like her, isn't it? She couldn't just tell me. Had to make a treasure hunt out of it. Ah, amaba a tu abuela como si fuera mi propia hermana. Pero a veces era peor que un dolor de muelas. Abby, I think I'll leave you two alone to talk about things. Sounds like you've got some catching up to do. Thanks, Lara. Here, I want you to have this for all your help. And before you say anything, it's customary, so you kind of can't say no. Thank you. haciendo las compras. Hi there. Mire lo que tengo. Excelente lección. Un placer hacer negocios con usted.
están quebrando. Reforzamos todo lo que pudimos. El resto resistir otro temblor. Réplicas menores. Feels like a mausoleum. Mm, means we're on the right track, right? Jonah, I feel something. We're getting close. Let's look around for signs of Lopez. These notes were written by the founder of the Sector 7. They're talking about funds allocated for renovations to the library. The door closed and a silence settled, so great and so vast I held my breath for fear of breaking it. Lopez turned to me, his eyes wild, a smile screwed across his face. He came toward me, arms outstretched, and for a moment fear flickered across my heart. But he pulled me close, his fingers digging into my shoulders. I found it, he whispered in my ear, and releasing me, he wandered through this room. Walls of pure jade reaching up to the heavens, completely covered in intricate etched mosaics and carved figures. I followed at a distance as he approached an altar and watched as he lifted a silver box from it. The others are worried that Brothers de la Cruz and Serrano will not return. I have so far maintained they will, that they always have. But in my heart, I am beginning to believe we have seen the last of them, and that grief weighs heavily. We will continue their work. Either they will return to find we have not forgotten the teachings, or they will look down on us from above and bless our continued labors. his wings you may seek refuge under his wings twenty fifth of December, sixteen o three. It has been four days since we turned away from the city. We traveled in silence and in circles, guided by a confusion of grief, relief, and celebration. Lopez and I exited the jungle and landed in a clearing, under the gaze of several faces carved into the side of the mountain. Lopez had an episode, as he later called it. He threw himself in front of the faces and screamed for forgiveness. The heaviest sin on his heart was abandoning Perez to the strange warriors. They had grown close over the journey. 
Try as I might, I could not console him. So I built a fire and waited, as he decreed his actions and pleaded for forgiveness from the silent stone faces. Twenty sixth of December, sixteen oh three. Lopez woke me, having already prepared a Spartan breakfast. This is where we were meant to be, he said, a cold determination in his voice, so very different from how he acted just the day before. I finished my meal as he spoke of holy retribution, how he had acted in error, but now God had put his hands on his shoulders and shown him the path to walk. We will spread the true word of God from this small mission, he said, pointing to an adobe building just beyond the stone faces. We will prepare the path for the chosen one to follow, for only he who does will be worthy of this box. Jonah, this book describes a stranger's arrival at the mission. He founded the Sect of Seven. Maybe that was Lopez. Like on the pamphlet. We must be getting close. We should keep looking. John, son of Zebedee, one of Jesus' apostles, also called the beloved disciple, he and his brother, James, were known for their impetuousness and temper, which prompted Christ to start calling them Boanerges, Sons of Thunder. John is credited with writing five books of the New Testament, the Gospel of John, the Three Epistles of John, and the Book of Revelation. He's the patron saint of love and loyalty, as well as writers, publishers, and scholars. One of his symbols is a serpent in a cup, which is linked to his patronage of victims of poisoning and burns, This roughly drawn sketch shows St. John repelling a demon attack. Perhaps they plan to have this as one of the frescoes in the mission. Brother de la Cruz appeared one day, emerging from the jungle, breathing new life into the mission. There were just the three of us when he arrived, and Sister Dorothea had been ill for many weeks. He and his associate began to work that first day. By the next week, de la Cruz had recruited a workforce of three dozen. They had prepared the bell tower and worked the fields, planting crops. Brother de la Cruz aims to make us self-sufficient, We'd spent so long alone out here, I'd worried we'd lose God's ear. Lo and behold, we not only had his ear, but he sent another to act as his hands as well. Stone faces weep as Jesus creeps along the Dolores path. Too many died. More will still, and more will still, and more will still. His light leads the way.
The sun will be darkened, and the moon will not give its light. Jonah, those two Bible quotes. The sun will be darkened, and under his wings you may seek refuge. What does it mean? That's it. Look for a heron and an eclipse. Jesus takes up the cross. These are the stations of the cross. But there's a bunch missing. Before 1600, there were only seven. This could date back to the time of Lopez. This is one of his clues. Yeah, it's the kind of thing he does. All right. Let's see if we can find a cross lying around here somewhere. When we find the box, how do we get the key back from the Mingus? We'll find a way. Edsley is young to have all that responsibility. Found something? Must yeah. be pretty hard for him. Jesus, Jesus really takes imagine. up the cross. Help me lift this. <laughs> Thanks. Jesus falls the first time. There's an inscription here. Ambulate dum lucem habitis. Walk while you have the light. This looks like the Virgin Mary. Station three. Jesus meets his mother. The mirror looks dusty. I'll give you a boost. Hey, it worked. 
light leads this way. was a little rusted. This must be Station 4. Yeah. Let's have a look at these frascos. got close. He wasn't as lucky. It looks like he's accepting the cross here. Commander Walk. Strange there are only seven stations. This must be based on an older tradition. Jesus takes up the cross, falls the first time, meets his mother. Is that what I think it is? The stations of the cross again. But with mummies, isn't this sacrilegious? Not necessarily. They could have been paying the ultimate homage. Or they were just sick. This must be station six. Looks like a church. These ones are posed like monks. Uh-huh. carrying the cross. So Lopez staged the whole crucifixion with mummies. Seems sacrilegious. I think this was a place of worship for an underground sect. Literally. I guess this is a sect from the pamphlet. Mm -hmm. I think he's taking up the cross. Ugh, this is disgusting. I'm glad I wasn't around when Lopez was. Jesus, nailed to the cross. That inscription, do not fear those who kill the body, but are unable to kill the soul. Is that meant for us? Don't let Lopez get in your head. He's caused enough trouble already. Okay, let's do this. She's wiping his face, I think. They're lifting. 
lifting him. They're carrying him. Strange there are only seven stations. This must be... What's the first step of the crucifixion? Not sure. Maybe it's on the pamphlet. His disciple wall him in and then bang. No witnesses. Only the hands of the Righteous One may seize destiny from mine. I guess it's you then. He led us on this goose chase. He sabotaged every clue. All to keep this box from Trinity. And the people of Paititi. Totally consumed by it.
Where is she? I don't know. I just need the box. Fuck you! Well, I guess we're done here. Release him, and I will give you the box. Laura, what are you doing? I've lost enough people. <laughs> I know you have. Your father was brilliant. He was taken from me before I could know was my friend. But he was obsessed, relentless. You didn't know him. He refused to see the potential for destruction in his work. He had to be stopped. You had him killed. He was going to lead the public to buy Titi. Everything I love, everything I fought for. My world would have been destroyed. And what about my world? <laughs> you can't think it's the same. It is to a nine-year-old girl. I was a child. There was too much at stake. An entire civilization, hundreds of years of independence, thousands of lives. I had no choice. There's always a choice. It's not too late. You can honor Unaratu and restore the sun. No. The threat must be removed. You're a low, selfish, murdering coward. And you, Lara, how many lives have you ended? Hmm? In pursuit of what? Laura, go! Stop him! just now? Yeah. Think we should call him? Hell no. If there's any change in our status, he'll tell us. Spanish Jesuit missionary Andreas Lopez, a member of Trinity, was dispatched to find and retrieve the silver box of Ishel rumored to be in Paititi. Instead of bringing the box back to the Trinity High Council, he confessed the theft to his old friend, the Emperor Paititi, Sinchichika, Unaratu's ancestor. Together they entered into a plot to hide the box from Trinity. Lopez went west to Paititi and founded the mission of San Juan, leaving a path of clues stretching back to Cozumel for Sinchichica's descendants to follow when the time came. But while building the mission and the deadly crypts below, the box's power corrupted Lopez's mind. He came to believe that no one was worthy of the power of the sun. 
He died alone in the dark, consumed by the power of the box. Soon after, disease severely wiped out the population of Paititi, taking Sinchi Chika and knowledge of the path of the clues that led to the silver box with it. I hope I get to see it when they take it out of here. Burning my throat. Commander Roar? Keep this channel clear. But, sir, we're hearing disruption to our northwest. The situation is being handled. I say again, keep this channel clear. Roar out. Back to Ken, and it's all over. Just left her alone in the turf. It was chaos in there. Obviously. But this is Croft. There was something more important to worry about. Please, please, please try to come through here. Shouldn't be too hard to spot. How does he expect to get away? friend is here. Where is she?
Jonah, where are you? I'm in the cane field. They can't see me. Keep your head down. I'm on my way. Priority one, find Lara Croft. You heard the commander. Let's go hunting. Croft, I know you're out there. I should have killed you in Siberia, but Dominguez was against it. That's on me. But I'm gonna fix that mistake. Now. He's gotta die. It has to happen. Hey! Did you know they're still rumming some of these barrels? For Christ's sake, Morgan, do your job. Hey! Where are you? Oh, I don't like this. All full up. Can't carry any more. I hope he's okay. All right, let's go. I'll take point.
Anna! How much longer to pay TT? Almost there. I'm sorry I lost the box. It's not your fault. It's... It's Dominguez. It's Trinity. All the way back, as far as I can remember, it's always been them. I could have had a family. Everything could have been different. We will get the box, and we will stop Dominguez. Your Highness. Lara. Where, where is the box? Amaru has it. But the death of the sun draws near. We'll get it back before he completes the ritual. This will not be easy. We'll have to adjust the plan. Please, take your time to prepare yourself. We'll gather intelligence and fighters. Thank you. Stay here and lend Uchu a hand. Let me know if you need anything. Okay. I 
I can't believe how much Etzli has grown in such a short time. He's going to make a great king. Yes, but he's lost both his parents. So did you. I think he's handling it a little better. That's just how it looks from the outside. So much responsibility on his shoulders. I can't imagine. It's not just about Trinity anymore. No. Now it's for Paititi.